Mastering Relative Adverbs, A Bridge to Connecting Ideas. Hello, language learners. Welcome to today's lesson where we will delve into the fascinating world of relative adverbs. We're going to focus particularly on how we can use these adverbs to connect ideas in sentences. Get ready to broaden your understanding and elevate your English proficiency to a whole new level. Before we jump into connecting ideas, let's recap what relative adverbs are. These are special types of adverbs that introduce a relative clause. They can be broken down into three main categories, when, where, and why. When is used to connect ideas related to time. Where is used for connecting ideas about place. Why is used to connect ideas about reason. Relative adverbs play a crucial role in enhancing sentence structure and meaning by connecting two ideas together. They provide additional information about the noun mentioned in the first part of the sentence, hence creating a more detailed and intriguing story. Here's a simple example. I remember the day. I first met you on that day. Now, with the use of the relative adverb, when. I remember the day when I first met you. Connecting ideas using relative adverbs can make your sentences smoother and your ideas clearer. Let's look at some examples. 1. When. 2. 2021 is the year. I started learning English in that year. 3. 2021 is the year when I started learning English. 4. Where. 5. This is the place. I first met my best friend at this place. 6. This is the place where I first met my best friend. 7. Why? 8. This is the reason. I am learning English for this reason. 9. This is the reason why I am learning English. As you can see, relative adverbs help to join sentences, making them more efficient and polished. Now it's time for you to practice. Try to create your own sentences using relative adverbs to connect ideas. Remember, the best way to improve is by practicing and making these grammar concepts a part of your regular language use. That wraps up our lesson for today. We hope you now have a better understanding of how to connect ideas using relative adverbs. Keep practicing and remember. The beauty of language lies in its complexity. So, don't shy away from these little challenges. They're stepping stones on your journey to mastering English. Thanks for joining us today, and we can't wait to see you in the next lesson.